on this date in history, October the 8th. Starting off in 876, this was, I guess, their version of the Thriller from Manila. I've never heard of this battle, but Charles the Bald was defeated by Louis the Young. Sounds like French and English added again in 1876. Franklin Pierce, the 14th President of the United States, he died on this date in 1869. Poor Franklin. He ended up going down as one of the worst presidents in American history. And when asked when he was leaving the presidency what he was going to do, he said, it's time to let go. Nothing to do but get drunk. John Hancock, yes, I'll make it so big the king can read it without his glasses. Patriot, 1793, he died. On his deathbed, he said, I'm looking forward to a more pleasant time. Revolutionaries had it rough. Born on this date, Klaus Kinski, 1926, a great actor. Big Teeth, Reverend Jesse Jackson, Big Teeth of his own, 1941, he was born. He's like the only man that's run for president more than Ralph Nader and George Wallace. Chevy Chase, born on this date in 1943. I should give you Chevy Chase. Oh, oh there goes my notes, sorry. Uh, and Kristana Loken. She was born on this date in 1979. Don Larson on this date, 1956, pitched the only perfect game in World Series history. 1871, Mrs. O'Leary's cow kicked over the bucket, which was all a fabricated story, but the fire of 1871, the Great Chicago Fire, rumored to have started in the O'Leary's barn. The uh, story of the cow fabricated by a Tribune writer at the time. It's Emergency Nurses Day. Oh, now don't get too, uh, you know, worked up over that idea because the last emergency uh, room nurse I saw looked a lot like Telly Savalas.